right, so with my Rotel, I do cut up onion in there along with the ground beef. That's just what I'm do what I do, y'all. I'm just showing y'all how I make the Rotel dip. So I do cut up onion and cook it with my ground beef. And as you all see, we got a little grease. Not much, but we got some. So I'm gonna drain this meat out. And then from there, I got my taco seasoning that I'm gonna add to it. You need your Rotel tomatoes. I use the mild kind and sometimes I do original too. Now this is something that I do add in there, the queso dip, which is bomb y'all. So good. I use these kind of chips and with this Velveeta and I'm gonna cut this up in a minute and just pretty much put it in the microwave and then add my tomatoes in there along with my meat and this and yeah, I'll show you all how it go. You know what y'all, I like, hopefully y'all not mad about that. I'm not gonna use this this time cause I'm tired and I'm ready to eat. <laughs> it's gonna be one o'clock. For some reason we've been eating really late, like going hours without eating. But yeah, I'm not gonna do this this time. Maybe next time, but um, right now I'm just gonna cut this cheese up. And I always have like maybe like a block left of this when I use it. So I think I'm gonna cut it to like right here. And then I'm gonna use all of this. So all I do to kind of speed up the melting process and if you underage, don't do this. Don't don't do this. I'm doing this, but if you're underage, don't cut like this. So all I do is cut them up in cubes and I'm gonna place them in this bowl right here. And it just kind of speed up, you know, speed it up to melt the cheese a little bit faster. That's all. I don't plan on this being a long video at all. Some people like long videos, some don't. But I think the longer videos, even with myself watching other people's, let me cut a little bit more, other YouTubers' videos, I think you kind of lose your attention span after so long, you know. So, this is my cheese. So, all I'm going to do is put this in the microwave, let it melt. And once it's melted, how I like it, then I'll add in my tomatoes. Alright, so this is good for me right here, y'all. Oh, my. Oh, Ooh, it's hot right too. Y'all know this husband in the background. So, my handy little can opener. Crack my can open. And boom, just like that. I normally only use two cans, y'all. I don't I don't think I ever use three unless it's like a big thing of Rotel. <laughs> 
Like me on this, I ain't gonna lie to you. That I'm doing, but other than that, uh uh. I don't use that many cans because it, you don't want it that soupy, you know. So, this is my meat. I, didn't, I drained it, you know, y'all see the little holes. So, all I'm gonna do is add my meat in here. And I'm going to show y'all in a minute. Just give me a moment. Okay, so hopefully y'all can see a little bit better. And if y'all have not tried Rotel with onions, you should try it. And I also have done it with with shrimp as well. Shrimp and Rotel is really good. And you wanna make sure you stir it pretty good cause, oh. So this is when I come in with a little bit of queso, not much, just a little bit though. It brings it to a whole nother level y'all, I promise you another level. I just shot that boy up. And that's on the money, y'all. Oh, my. Oh, and y'all, I did use, I'm going to put it back in the microwave for just a little bit. Let me show y'all a little bit better so y'all can get a better view. And I normally... Put it back in the microwave for just a little bit longer. And then that'll be it, y'all. That will be it. And I did use ground beef, but you can use ground turkey as well. It really don't matter what which one you use. These are the chips that I'm using. Just the great value restaurant style. Honestly, y'all. Like I always say, these taste just like the brand kind, to me anyway. And it was cheaper, like a dollar, a dollar something, so. I'm gonna put the chips on the plate. I'm just gonna no, I ain't gonna start put the rock tail on top. Oh, you didn't give me two. This should be enough for my husband. So that's the wrap, y'all. We ain't had rotel in so long, but this is one of them things like spaghetti. It's that's, that's, super quick it's and fast. It it <laughs> so do y'all. And like I said, you can add shrimp to it. I've done it before, and like I did in here, I added onions. If you don't like onions, of course, don't put it in there. But I'm telling y'all, if you add onions to your rotel, it is so bomb. But that's it, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.